crew! Iba't ibang lahi, iba't ibang itsura, at iba-iba ang aking nadarama. Charot! I am with Mr. Tayson. Tayson, um, where are you from? Which country? I'm actually from Hong Kong. Hong Kong, and then we came here to have a booth here. Our project is called Live For Well. Can you tell us more about your company? So uh, this company actually uh, with three components and it's a web free project. First, you have a game to do exercises. We use AI and motion captures to monetize your performance of you doing exercise. And then you will have um, accordingly some points and then you can accumulate from the game and then you can use those games to redeem stuff in our marketplace. So it's like that. How does your project leverage a blockchain technology in Web3? So basically the most um, dominant technology in Web3 we use for live for well is about membership, which is NFT. So what I just mentioned about the game and also accumulating points and then redeeming stuff in our marketplace, we use the NFT to empower the ecosystem and create the membership for our member to um, enjoy the benefit. And I do think NFT is the answer to future um, blockchain application for Web2 businesses like us. Um, we've been in the industry for 20 years and how like from last year we tried to adopt Web3 technology and use this Web3 blockchain to empower our own businesses. We found it um, very appealing and it's a strong case for every single business in, in all industry. We all know that we are on the bear market right now. Does it even affect your company? Um, actually not because um, arguably in a bear market, right? So we would consider us there's actually less competitors. So for most of the project, because we are self-funded. So if we don't need like pre-ICO, if we don't need fundraising, we're actually taking advantage of less people, less funding in the industry. So we can be, you know, more like sharper to um, the audience. And also, you know, every technology have a wave, you know, like in terms of its, you know, price or its like use case. So like for example, using dot-com bubble and dot-com internet as an example in 2000. And in 2000, um, all, all the website, all the company putting dot-com behind, you know, um, the company and then to, for price speculation or like for, for price appreciation, right? But then after the dot-com bust around 2003, 2004, then you actually got those like Apple, Amazon, Google who stay alive which is all application company. So that's why we're believing in the bear market is the best timing for application for blockchain. So NFT and also, you know, like membership is one of the stronger case that we can put in the market. So I think it's the best timing for all the metaverse or web free project to come back on and look at the market and then see how you can hit that. Yeah. Do you have any advice for our viewers who's not even familiar about web three space? Yeah, um, I think for web three, um, lots of people say metaverse dead, right? And metaverse can't be dead because metaverse is not an object, it's not a thing. Metaverse is a way of living and communication and experiences. So maybe in the past three to four years, if you think metaverse is dead, it's just not the right experience the market perceives. So whatever that you want to perceive more in the future, let's say the application like membership or like, you know, like for example, NFT ticketing will be the next generation key to success in the whole metaverse and um, Web3 space. So I guess like everyone should look into Web3, not in just price speculation, but also the application of how it's changing or impacting your life. And that's the most important thing, I think. Last question. What do you think is the future of money? Um, the future of money, I think um, in the short term, I do think um, cryptocurrency will be regulated because it's only regulated so the in industry also the in institution can adopt it. Like for example, if I'm talking about membership, right? Um, I'm, I'm, we are using NFT for membership and it, it can only work if all the big boys like, you know, in, you know, S&P 500 are using the membership in NFTs and it has to be regulated because it can't be like, you know, frying around with like no regulation and so the institution will be able to put more flavor into this technology. So the money will come in the long run, I say 10 years, for sure will be in crypto. But for the next five years, I personally will see a big wave of regulation and also the price fluctuation to the market. So everyone has to be patient. But me personally, I like to work on businesses, you know, I'm more on the entrepreneurial style. So I would like to make businesses and not looking into the um, price 
movement that much in the next 10 years. But of course, it's going to go up anyway. Inflation, keep printing money, you know, everything, stocks, it's going to go up. Like in the stock market in the past 100 years, no matter how up or down it goes, it's always going to go up. So same thing as like, you know, like um, cryptocurrency and also um, commodities and also anything you want to put a price on it. Yeah. Um, promote our business, Live For Well. You can definitely download it. Um, everyone needs to work on their health, a good lifestyle, not just money, right? I mean, we actually have a slogan I think you can take into is to transform your health into wealth. And Live For All is going to teach you how. So um, you can download it in Apple, Android, just go for it. It's going to be good. Maraming maraming salam. Thank you so much. More of it, mga ka-web crew. Dito lang yan sa FOMO, the future of money.